it over to mute so I don't hear how much of a generic nerd voice I have. Well, at least you already know. Anyway, uh, good morning. It's New Gears time. I'm here. Mastazaw's here. Uh, Correct. We're... Hello. Yeah. We're in a cave. Um, yes, this one. Let's be higher level in a cave. Yeah. Good morning, crab meats. Crab meats is up early for Xeno Gears. Loading, loading. Okay. So, we're in a cave. Um, we talked to Balthasar and upgraded our gears. And our mission is to find the two sand sensors and turn them off. And that will open the door that's right over there that I can't look at because, well, I can, I can walk over there. And sensors go, okay, not too much sand now because we're not detecting any. Yeah. And then the door opens, possibly causing an ecological disaster as a lot of sand is released from its natural habitat. We'll find out. Uh, let's see. And the goal is to do this without backtracking too much. We have to backtrack a little bit by definition, but... Uh, we will try to avoid really bad stuff. Uh, this looks like a transition. Yeah. There's the info bot over there. It's, I think I can probably fall off of this platform onto the area below if that becomes something I want to do, but let's see where this goes. Oh, we can get into a fight. It's in danger. Ah, that's spot. However, I think we are at it, full... It goes to the opposite of danger. Yeah, so we kind of have to beat this guy up because I guess we could, we could run away. Sure. Yes. Right, okay. So now we take this path. Maybe. The, the dashing animation is not much of an animation, but there's a little bit of a bobbing up and down. Okay. Well, the front mission, like, dashing animation, which they kind of kept canon, like, when they did it for... When they did... When they redid it for uh, Front Mission 4, basically it looks like them hunching over and just zooming along. Okay. Maybe the hunching over increases their aerodynamics. Yeah, they're just basically kind of activating wheels. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, like wheels on their feet. <laughs> and jets, presumably. I don't yep. know. They're just kind of careening around. I They're think, even drifting in cutscenes. It's actually kind of cool. Looks like Brigandier has the wheels, but Welthal has jets. Because Welthal is definitely floating, but Brigandier might be touching the ground. Yeah, definitely the mecha heels. Brigandier's right leg does not appear to be touching the ground. Okay. Okay, so we're one shotting these guys. That, that's good. I guess we, if you want, if we wanted to, we, we could actually get out of our gears to fight the sand men. It's kind of. Is there any additional value in that? It would let us train death blows, but okay. I'm not convinced that that's like a good use of our time. Uh, the other thing we can do is like. Once we're reduced to one Sandman, we can charge fuel. Yes. 
Well, I'm going to do that once. here yeah it's kind of it's actually possible that neither of their feet are touching the ground and it's just that Welthal has a more dramatic like high knee uh, pose when, when, when zipping yeah oh no I missed Also, we don't need to use our maximum power attack here. Ah, an axe kick. Okay, cool. Okay, so that hole will lead to the very long walk, which I would like to not have to do more than once. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Here's a sand sensor. Disengaged. On oh, the, the blinking lights turn off. Okay. Now I have to find the other one. I think that's the one we've already seen, though. Well, we've seen both of them. We just haven't touched both of them. Let's see if I if I fall off here. Let's uh try to keep our bearings here as best we can. This is one of those times when it would be really nice to have free camera movement, but you just have this uh a bit of camera movement, not totally free. For giggles, I'm gonna get out of our gears so and we can beat up these same men. Uh, man to man here. Um, uh, somewhere. Did I like forget how to get to. Alright, special options. No. Oh, I. I thought you could. Okay, you can't, actually can't leave your gear in combat. You can, if you start out not in your gear, you can summon the gear, but you can't get out of it. You can only, yeah, you can, when you're out of combat, you can get, get out of the gear. Well, that, make, that kind of makes sense in the sense of, all right, I'm going to get out of my gear to start punching you guys, and then one of those guys just jumps into your gear. <laughs> or, or jumps into his own gear or something like that. Yeah. A little bit of a reasonable limitation, I think. It's that. Okay, so we were heading, just kind of following this wall. Uh, let's see here. Oh, right, and this is the place where the the boulder we we hit the boulder and. Okay. I don't think we want to go down there. So, let's go this way. Okay, so here's where we where, where we fell down with there's this save point, and let's just go ahead and save just for good measure. 
We've made progress. Yeah. And I think the other sand sensor is visible from this room. We just have to sort of figure out where it is. Let's look around. No, okay. And actually, let's... I, I distinctly remember this part of the game because it can be a little tedious. Which is unfortunate. But And I... I do have a walkthrough open over there. I have not looked at it in too much detail because I do want to kind of puzzle out as Progress much as organically. I can. Yes. Also, you can get the, the genuine Xenogears experience of wandering around in a cave. Um, but we can make the executive decision at some point to like look at the map. Now that we've been wandering around, it looks like the only way through is into that pit. Uh, Crab Meats wants to offer some minor direction. Uh, what do you think? Should we should we accept uh, direction from the zoo? I'm. I think we should, only because it's extra interesting because they're in the past. Uh, okay. Also, so there's the sand sensor we already touched. But yes, go ahead, Crab Meats. Give us your 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 direction. I kind of want to. I don't want to commit to jumping down there until I absolutely, until I uh, am confident that's the, either the only way to go or the actual correct way to go. Okay. Uh, I can see the other sensor near the info bot. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. And go through like one charge cycle with the uh, repair bot. Uh huh. I think, yes, we're going to go this way. And then... I can hear my dad listening to YouTube videos of human about humankind in the other room. Okay, is that good? Well, he just needs to get the game and play it, I think. Oh, oh, the humankind, the game, yeah. The, uh, the 4X game, yeah. I have not played too much of that, but it seemed perfectly functional as far as 4X games go. Oh. Oh. This will involve a certain amount of, let's see. Oh, here we go. I think I might, in fact, get to uh, walk back through the... Yep, here we are. <laughs> so, I mar marginally cursed myself by uh, walking through this path that I maybe didn't need to do, but that's okay. Wee! Wee! <laughs> I guess the other thing you can do is if you have, like, an area of effect magic, you can, uh, like, possibly hit multiple little guys at once, but right now we don't have that. Faye does have the giant beam, but I'm pretty sure that only hits one target. Outside of being in mixes that you don't really learn anything. 
that's... Well, in a gear, you don't, like, learn death blows, like... The gears have death blows, but they're just tied to whatever death blows you already know outside of your gear. That might be what you're talking about, or what you might be talking about something else, but... Yes. Like, doing death blows and or doing moves in the gear doesn't... doesn't help towards learning new new death blows. Speaking of which, oh, okay, I hit a transition zone. That's fine. I'm looking to see what death blows Bart already knows. Ah, okay, he knows Headhunter. All right. Okay, let's find the info bot. Entertaining that you enter the fight by like dropping down from the ceiling. <laughs> Obviously, that's just done to like uh, simplify the, the geometry so you don't. I, I guess they had to pick some way to have you spawn in, and, and that's an easy way to just make the battle arena like a open box you can just drop guys into. Yeah. Why don't they just run away? <laughs> yeah, the, the Sandmen are either very brave or very stupid because they definitely can't beat up gears on their own, so... Let's see here. Let's do a bit of camera. Nope, okay. But here's the Infobot. Let's just look around. I feel like it's up on that thing. Yeah, it probably is. Doot, doot, doot. Well, anyway, so we can't directly see it, but it's probably somewhere over there. Uh, so we came from the north-ish. Let's go this way. Ah, here's some platforms. This feels like one of those games where you don't have to grind because you just get into so many generic random encounters. Yeah, there are times when you eventually will want to do a bit of grinding. Up oh, here we go. Oh, there it is. Yep. Disengaged. Okay. Now we just have to find a way out of here. Also, there's this platform, which has a rock on it. I don't think we can interact with the rock, though. I think this platform doesn't do anything. <laughs> yep. Okay. That's all. And I think the way forward is past the info bot going the other way. This way. Also, there's not, like, continuous sand noises anymore. Yes, although... There are still sand fountains somewhere. You just can't hear them all the time. Okay, let's... Let's assume we want to go back and... Uh, fix, fix our gears again. And then save and then... Go forward. Uh, let's see, where's the guy? Hello. Okay. Okay, we weren't going to be able to find the exit without talking to him. Good to know. Yes.
Well done. You flipped a switch. Okay. I also set up all the mechanisms that like put it in place. Yes, that's that's true. <laughs> Somewhere there's a really cool robot. Hmm. Yes. Somewhere there's a gear that's better than all the others. Okay, that's that's just how rankings work, man. <laughs> yeah, like like factually there is one, but hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, the Omni Gear. Okay. Yeah, they're they're totally not real. I mean, look at how disapproving that man's face is. He's really tired of people asking him about the Omni Gear. Uh. Do these gears seem more powerful than a thousand gears? Well, okay, let's think of it this way. Yours is definitely more powerful than at least like twenty or thirty, because it's killed twenty or thirty so far. That's true, if you if you count the very bad gears. Oh, okay. Oh they they Buried the gears after a great war. Okay. It's like uh, the nuclear submarines that they that they that the Russians and the Americans agreed to decommission to reduce the uh, nuclear pro proliferation, and then they take the. Out in the middle of nowhere in, in Washington, there's like a bunch of Russian nuclear submarine cores that they keep above ground so that they're visible from space to prove that they have not reactivated them. Anyway. All right. Hmm. I mean, you had to have seen it earlier. You put a new engine in it. Yes. <laughs> I'm just borrowing it. Mm hmm. Nothing. Yeah, okay. All right. I think our gears are probably fixed now. Let's just verify that. Yes, okay. Let's save. Oh, this is specific. Yeah, I was definitely getting, uh, despite all of his hair, I was definitely getting uh, a par parallel to the Traditional rule one of Discworld, which is man. What was that? Like, oh. Uh, do not actually, when confronting a little bald, wrinkly, smiling man. He, I mean, he was kind of the opposite in those, but I still, he definitely came to gave off the vibe of, you can't take this man. He has like thirty years of martial arts on you. Ah, yes. Okay. 
Anyway, now we're over here. There's a save point over there. There's a mechanism. Let's say not yet. Uh, no. Okay. If we go over here. What's? Can we just? Do we just fall down? Oh, can we get into a fight. Okay. Now that I've thought about it some more, the the, the fact that you we like enter by dropping down from the, the ceiling kind of gives it a vibe of like bug fight, like we're just in a shoebox that someone is dropping us into a into a little box to fight these these big bugs. Yeah, I can see that. Camera damage. They're much dark, more dodgy. Also, I'm doing like half damage to them for some reason. Okay, uh... That's odd. This looks like an elevator. Or is this the door? No, it's not the door. It's oh. one, one side. Okay, that's what it was. I was looking at the I was looking at the Twitch instead of the... Uh, oh, okay. The, yeah, the wizard eyes, I'm like, why did the music just suddenly go silent? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, there's also a big pit over there. Let's just go use the gondola. Oh, it's a it's a normal sized people gondola. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> it's also a little bit adorable to have this tiny little thing in the giant robots are over there. Uh, okay. Well, there's a button. Let's push the button. Um. Well, let's turn it on. Okay. Although well, that button is huge. Well, yes, that's that's reasonable. Yes, uh, it, it is a very big button, but maybe the button is designed to be uh, also operated by gears sometimes. How would the gears get up there? There's only a man-sized gondola. I don't know. This is, gears this, can't fly, uh, can they? It is an excavation site, so maybe sometimes. Uh, the terrain changes. Um, can we? Oh, now there's a button. That makes here. sense. Now, now the gears will push this thing. Okay. I'm guessing this is not anything. No. Okay. Ah! That's pretty crazy. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. Is it mechanical? Is it a bug riding a robot? Yeah, I think I think it's a bug riding. A robot. Is that like a giant cordyceps hand? Uh, something like that. I think this game kind of predates popular media's obsession with cordyceps, but. Even out of to Pokemon. That's true. Which means Paris was already out by that time. Where it was just like transforming into a new form. Nope. Just laying back on its back doing new bug things. Uh huh. 
Okay, let's see. We probably have to cross the pit. But let's just look around first. Ah, oh, there's a crane. But I'm guessing the crane is not going to do anything for us. Nope, can't interact with the crane. Okay, time to cross the pit. Yep. Okay. Or jump over most of the pit. Let's just... I don't think there's anything down there. I think it's just a pit. Yeah. Uh, they really want to give us a lot of save points, but I'll, I'll take them. Kind of like a breadcrumb path. Yeah. Okay, well, we, we've learned how to touch the elevator switches, so... I was about to say that JRPGs really love those, like, slanted, kind of funicular-style open elevators. I was skeptical that they ever existed in real life, but they definitely exist in mines, uh, because this sort of thing is used. Maybe they're kind of the kind of thing that you might attach a mine cart to rather than having a totally open elevator platform, but they definitely have them in mines, so. And also, like, funiculars yeah. also do exist. Ugh. Okay, that's how we get at that button. What's up? And that's how we get at that button that was only gondola accessible. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, so that guy did not immediately attack us, so just kind of showing that he's a cool, cool guy. Um... Whee! All right. Oh, we have. So, I, I feel like there's a lot of questions here. Who is this person? Where did they come from? How did they find us? Why are they here? <laughs> These are all very good questions. Um, should we activate booster? Uh, sure. They have a rocket fist. And they're called Calamity. Yeah. Which I don't know if that's a name we've heard or if people just keep mentioning Calamities. Uh, let's see. That was a lot of wind up for some that didn't actually connect. Uh, let's actually use Wild Smile to make them less able to hit us. Other than that, I'm just kind of like... ...using my uh, biggest attack. I can I try the... Uh, Guided shot. Oh, uh, he just looks like a big, beefy boy. Yeah. Used our enlarged chi attack. Okay, I will not do that again. Yeah, like. So far, you don't really have, like, any really impressive magic. Not really. Other people later will, will be more magical than us. 
we're just a kung fu man and the guy with the whip, so... I think I can get up to attack level 2, but I don't think it does anything. Ah, rockets. It looks like little... They look like pellet gun bullets. Nope, can't get up to attack level 2. Okay. From Durga. Okay, now we have a cat. Uh, that, that move is fairly comical in how much wind-up it has for how little it actually does. One day, buddy, we'll get him. I'm starting to run low on fuel. Yeah. You might consider Let turning off drop boosters. boosters. Yeah. Well, he's not doing a lot of damage, so it's possible that the booster is actually not what you want, which... Uh, on the other hand, I'm not sure... Can we connect this time? No. Okay. okay. Do we have the option of turning off the booster? Maybe. Yes. Okay. Yeah, those are supposed to just be beer can missiles, I think. What, you call them beer can missiles? Yeah, they were... I, I, I was the person who came up with the name for them. That's actually a common term. Okay. Or, like, I, like, they became, like, a big thing in Macross, as I recall. Oh, okay. But they just, like, let loose a cluster of, like, small cylindrical missiles. Mm-hmm. Anyway, okay. Everything okay there, Faye? What? <laughs> Is Faye gonna flip out over this? This, this seems like... An unjustified time to flip out. Oh, okay. More on trails than your crazy pa? Mm-hmm. Looked like maybe a third of a raging demon. Right. Ah. They went into berserker mode for a minute. Okay. <laughs> so sometimes Faye will use techniques he doesn't know. This might seem counterintuitive. Everyone does that. That's how they, they learn them, and they become death blows. Right. And. I think we'll just probably transition to above ground. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. 
Uh, let's see, where are we? We're going to go through here. Can we can't jump up there. Okay. Uh, let's see. That looks like an ideal place there where one of them could just kind of piggyback on the other one for a second. Oh, yeah. Jump up and help the other one up. Um, but instead, we're going to do this. Yeah, Faye just started button mashing. Whoops. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm very good at video games. <laughs> Fortunately, it seems like there's no encounters down here. After the recent calamity. Right. And then we're outside. Uh huh. So now we get some more locations. We have Bledovic and Fatima. Okay. I will die from fretting or something. Mm hmm Drea almost just purred straight into the microphone, but oh, now she left. Okay. Okay. And then we went back to the Adrian still. Okay. Mm hmm Uh, sure. Okay. Didn't he, like, swear to destroy us at one point? Uh... And stop, then do it again? Seek out mischief. Mischief just keeps getting thrust. Wait, no, that's not true. We mm. absolutely went out to. We absolutely like took that. Uh, went out in the sand for no reason other than to just see, make sure everything was going okay for our friend. Mm -hmm. Our friend was riding around in like a dune buggy, and we were in nothing. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. I just went into a battle. But trip. other than that. We have not been seeking out trouble. Trouble just keeps getting thrust upon us. More or less. Okay, so this place is large, but you can see it has space for more gears. Once we eventually get more gears. Uh, here's a guy. Yep. Okay. We all have to say. Ah, uh, Gear Fan Magazine. Okay. Mm hmm. What do you have to say? Uh, I think they might have repaired our gears, but. Oh, they did not. Okay. Let's go ahead and. Well, I didn't refuel it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. That's a pretty good price on fuel. Yeah. Um, I don't think we can... Uh, oh. Oh, we do have new engines. Okay. Well, I guess we will buy the new engines. So we have so that upgrade we got from Balthazar lasted uh, one cave and one boss fight. But that's how it goes. Mm-hmm. And 
but okay. So, like, the only thing they have for sale is wealth all. Okay. Uh, sure, this is most of our money, but we can sell a bunch of garbage. Yes. Let's just sell all of these we aren't going to use them. And, like, two of these. Just uh, all they have here uh, upgrade for well tall. Uh, so far the frame wind. goes. Oh no, okay. Oh wait, I also just can't afford this. Okay. <laughs> well, eventually we'll be able to get money later. So I also think we have a gold nugget, but we can't sell those to the gear guy. We have to find a normal, normal shop to sell a gold nugget. Okay, well, we'll take care of that later. Need enough, like, gold to make, like, a leg out of it or something for the gear guy to be interested in it. Mm hmm. This door leads to the hall. Okay, so that's probably where we need to go. Let's just walk over to the other end of it. But also, you can, like, What's the warehouse thing? <laughs> okay. Have I mentioned that this place is very large? Also, it's inside the sand We made these tight spots, we're going to use them. Yeah. Uh. So then there's the other side. It has space for even more gears. And also storage space over here. Is there a building? I thing? mean, do the sand pirates have more than like one or two gears? They appear to have one gear. Hmm. So it's just kind of aspirational space. Right. They definitely won't have a full world, uh, RPG uh, party at, at some point. Um. Need to park all their gears here. Also, you can, I think you can, like, I think you can, yeah, okay. You can look at Weltall. And talk to these guys. Uh, okay. We can, I, <laughs> I've never done this before, actually. <laughs> um, I'm okay with the default name, unless we want to think of other names later. But. Also, the I don't know what to name it, Durga. <laughs> uh, nah, not yet. This letter. I mean, is Durga is still a god name. It works. That's that's true. Uh, sure. Uh. Something named after a cat in every other stream. Mm hmm Okay, I, I named a, a gear. Oh. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh yes, give us the lowdown. Hmm. Ah, yes. Okay. Do love but Entirely unexplained fictional measurements. Mm hmm. And if you want to, you can view here from the front. And we get that. Okay. Dragon has some excellent fictional measurements like that. So I've been watching Trails play Trails in the Sky, and that also is a game that has a lot of completely fake units. Alright, we need to rename Brigander here. Uh, anyone have, have any other, other cat names? Oh, I was just thinking of god names. Oh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can walk out here. <laughs> oh, wait, can we not na rename Brigandir? We'll only oh, here we go. Here's the guy. Uh, 
All right, what do we got? Um, hmm. Morgan? Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Sure. Morgan has two R's, right? Yes. Okay. Crab Meats wants Sporty Spice. Well, uh, I don't think we're going to do that. Sorry, Crab Meats. I'm trying to think of God that use whips, and I'm kind of coming up short. I guess. Mm. Nope. Okay, I think we've been enough of that. Let's try to get out of here. Simon Belmont of God. No. So there's a lot of doors. I think we probably want... I think progress is where we find our hotel room and, and go to sleep. Um, this seems to be a barracks. Oh, actually, that would have been a... That might be a better name. Uh, Belmont? Thinking on it. It would be, no, not that. Um, but that it would also kind of be wasted on anything driven by Bart, but that would be Electo. Oh, okay. I, oh, yeah, Electo's a good one. Because he used Discourage. Mm-hmm. Okay. For those not meadow, uh, Durkas also. And. Oh. Nice. Destroying metal fragility. <laughs> you, you Basically, there was. Uh, yes. Uh, sorry, she was a goddess of, that was known for female empowerment and destroying male fragility. Yes. Basically, there was a demon who. Uh, yeah. Basically set it up so that no man could defeat him. So all the gods are like, "Well, we fucked up. Time to make a woman who can handle this." <laughs> so, uh, let's, let's weigh the question mark person. Ah, uh, okay. Is this person like not a real doctor? Sure, let's weigh weigh Faye. This is not like a game mechanic. I don't know what this does. Like, you you don't eat in this game, so I don't know why why there's a character that lets you weigh your, your party members. I need to look into this now. Okay, here's a room. There's a penguin on the bed. There's a water heater. What is this thing? Um, there's some weights in the corner, that's slightly unusual, but sure. Okay, so... <laughs> Weight is a hidden stat that does nothing other than, like, changes, like, like some minor... Events in odd ways. Okay. Like it doesn't like give you anything new or anything special. It's just like there are things you can eat, eat or drink that will make you heavier. Or oh, like if we go to a bar and, and buy it, buy some a people will comment on it. That's weird. Uh, okay. How does this tree grow if there's no sunlight? I guess there is some, some trees can photosynthesize a little bit with an artificial light. Okay.
Oh, save point. Like all of them, they don't have regular incandescent lights, they just have glow lamps. Sorry, grow lamps, rather. Yeah. Oh, here's Maison. How you doing, Maison? <laughs> okay. I will keep apologizing okay, for, so... for Bart's bad manners. Uh, apparently, the weight was intended to... Uh, the more weight you had, the more attack power and the less speed you had, and vice versa. But it's either bugged or was never completed. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. So it just does, has, has, like, weird effect. It just gets called out in some events. Anyway, I, I think I found a place where we can sell the gold nugget, so... Um, let's see. We might sell those scales eventually, but let's just sell the gold nugget. Be done with it. Um... Oh, I think this is still a sell menu, okay. I don't think we need to buy any of this stuff. We can buy items that ink that change our elemental stats, I guess. But these are <laughs> rarely worth it. Um let's see. Okay, I'm making this all seem to be way more common than I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought that it'd be harder to buy those, but I, I guess you can't use them out in combat. I mean, it's not like they work on robots, so... They also don't work on robots, that's true. Uh, let's see, do we need to buy any of this stuff? I don't think we... I don't think this is justified, so we can... Thanks, Mizan. You, you bought our gold nugget, so that's worth it. So there's a there's some giant rifles on the wall. Uh, they were more useful when gears were smaller. Yes. Yeah, they, they might. You might consider them to be anti-material rifles. That that would be yeah justified. Now it's I'm just really hard to shoot out of a tread on a on a giant metal gear. <laughs> right. Uh, also, there's a vending machine. Uh, the camera here is obviously a little bit <laughs> not. I mean, they're they're really doing their best here. But uh, oh, there's another hotel room, rather similar to the other one. Probably don't need to keep wandering into every dang hotel room. This one has clothes hung up. Cannot investigate. If this was like Shinmu or something, you could look at all this stuff, but this is not Shinmu. Now to really mess things up, we can. Oh, okay, oh yeah, there's an area transition right there. <laughs> Saving us from uh, completely awful camera adventures. Okay, and this seems to be the engine room. Let's, let's talk to these folks. Yes, okay. The young master forever is just kind of weird. Why wouldn't they just say Captain Bart forever? I'm gonna assume that was a little less silly sounding in Japanese, but who knows. Yes, yeah, so Sigurd and Bart both lost an eye in the same instant. They're gonna... Just standing next to each other, somebody shot them in the eyes with the wide beam. You shouldn't go up there. Says you. Can I jump off of here? 
here? Nope. Okay. Alright, so that's the end. This is the engine. I just keep talking about engine things. Uh. Also, apparently Satan's speed is bugged. So he's just faster than he's supposed to be all the time. I'm not surprised. Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> I, I couldn't quite tell what the sprite was, but it's a dog. Oh, I thought you were just staring because it was odd that a dog was working in the engine room. That also is odd. I couldn't tell if it was a human on their knees or... what. Also, sometimes it's difficult to find the uh, transition area. Uh, but fortunately, getting up these stairs is not too bad. Okay. Um, let's see here. We already saved. Okay. Let's see. What's this one? Oh, so this is the elevator. We can. Zoop. Okay, so this leads outside, but we are currently in motion, so... I think this is the bridge. Yes. Um, before we talk to Bart, let's, let's check in with the bridge crew here. Uh-huh. They're boys. Why is it a banana boat? I, I'm not sure why he said banana boat. Uh-huh. Sure, show us the chart. Okay. What a useful chart. Why is specifically Satan's house on it? Uh... And why is this a chart of places Faye and Satan have been, and not a chart of places the angel just have been? Well, it also doesn't include, like, the town. Well, Lahan's destroyed, so... <laughs> yeah, but they wouldn't necessarily know that on their map. <laughs> right. The map is, uh... anachronistic at best. Mm-hmm. So this... 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 sub has a sonar operator. Oh, let's just skip to the good part, which is the sonar operator. It's Franz! Browns. <laughs> you wanna hear some hot sounds? Sure. Is this just like a random sound test? Yes. Oop, that was the like menu sound. Seem to be nothing. Okay. Ah, the, the save save point sound. Cat. Breaking glass. Great. Okay. There's a lot of thuds. You can tell they, they record a lot of different thud sounds. Lots of different things fall in slightly different ways. Yeah. Uh, good. Klaxon. Oh, that's a klaxon. <laughs> yeah. The menu select noises. Cat again. All right. We, we can we can stop whenever we, we want to here. Yeah. Long bottle. Okay, I just cool. mean, like, if there was any like, like really notable spoilers in there, it would be hilarious to actually come across one, but I don't think there is. Nope. It's not like they're going to play cutscene audio or anything like that. Okay, so Franz is obviously the best part of the, of the bridge crew here, but... Uh... Okay. Um, let's see, what about you? 
What are you doing? He certainly gets to a lot of wreck for someone so reckless. Bazing! Uh huh. Innumerable effect wings. Okay. Okay, so you're just continuously grinding the sand. I guess. It's it's all they it's kind of techno fabulous, but really doesn't make any actual sense. So we aren't gonna dwell on it too hard because I don't think it would actually work in real life. Why wouldn't you just this be your hideout? This place is great. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm I'm not driving this. This is like it's just going. I, I can pivot the camera, but and now I it's definitely just doing it itself. Yeah, certainly like the Ingrisel is. Is the is the main base? It just like we also have a hideout for when we need to park the anchor cell. Given that the anchor cell, based on the size of the uh, gear hanger, seems to be more the size of an aircraft carrier than a an actual, than a, like a conventional Earth submarine. So, uh, yeah, not really clear how, why, it, you know, how they are able to build such a huge thing, but you know, they, they are gears, so engineering is different. I probably just found it underground somewhere. Yeah, probably. Like, wait, this thing can just pulverize the sand all around it. Let's just drive it away from here and steal it. Here's some small children. Mm -hmm. Captain Bart, friend to ch children. Yep. Children. These are very uh, improbable children. Because most children love large machines, and so to think that gears are boring to them seems very unlikely. I mean, it's not like they get to play around in them. That that's true. Although a bug in amber is also good, a good thing to uh, impress children. Uh-huh. Is that man's name just House? Yes. This elevator has actual dark rails. that way. We don't have to, though. Go down here. Uh. The <laughs> sure. is, Bart is actually just like 12. Yeah. Nope, oh, time to open the treasure chest in Bart's room. Oh, an iron whip. Okay. Why didn't he bring that with him? Good question.
Um, Bart appears to have a gas tank and like a gas cylinder in his room for some reason. Listen, some people like, you know, huffing various things recreationally. <laughs> I don't, uh, would not in the case of Bart, that. he likes huffing helium so he can sound squeaky. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm not sure what these guys are doing, but they're very busy. Maybe they're just playing Counter-Strike or something. Hmm. Given how they look, my assumption is that these are Linux servers. Ah. <laughs> okay. And then there's this room, which is... Not sure what that's for, but okay. Is it like a hollow suite or something? Could be. Oop. Oop, okay. <laughs> I was kind of mashing through dialogue boxes, but sure. They went and took a nap. I'll give you a big shot. Okay, all right. Anyway, uh... So there's a lot of talking to be done here. But... We don't need to talk to every last person. Alright, let's try to actually advance the plot by going and talking to Satan and Maison. Who I think went... I've already lost where they went, but uh... They went this way. Actually, one last thing. What's this? What's over here? Let's go outside. Yes, this goes outside. Okay. <laughs> We probably don't want to be outside by ourselves. Because I think the, the combat around here is calibrated for you to have more than one person in your party. Okay. I mean, I guess the reason you would have a lair is to like have a place to keep your a bunch of your non-combatants backup stuff. Just keep things repaired and just anywhere to store it or manufacture your fuel. Mm -hmm. And there are some kinds of repairs that you sell that probably can't be done, like out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so let's okay, so let's do on since you have asked what is actually a very difficult question. Yes. <laughs> um. Uh, so far, it's we're on some planet. Uh, and there are robots buried in the earth that people like using to fight each other. Yes. I will say, that, uh, so, one thing that might help a little bit is that the original script of Xenogears was submitted as a script for Final Fantasy VIII. Um, it was rejected for being too dark and complicated. Uh, so if you think of this as a Final Fantasy VIII kind of setting, um, but with a lot of giant robots, then that's, like, probably a good 15-word summary of the setting. Instead of child soldiers. Yeah. Right now we're on a... I don't know why this is less dark, is what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> also, if you consider, like, the places that Final Fantasy VIII eventually ends up going, like, like accusing it of being, like, less complicated than Xenogears is a, is a bit of a reach. We did not animate Satan actually drinking the tea, so... <laughs> uh, okay. Um, at the moment, uh, what we're doing is that we are guests of a... Uh, of sand pirates that have a giant sand submarine. Uh... 
Okay, so, uh... Uh-huh. Yes. Right. So so Bart is the heir of Fatima. But Fatima is Yeah. Yeah, okay, so Maison's just saying it. So the place is kind of destroyed, I take it. Well or like Conquered. Conquered, yes. Subjugated. So yes, so they 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 would like to restore uh, the Fatima dynasty, but um, uh, they're working on it. We'd rebel, but everyone involved is too strong because they're trying to one up each other. Mm -hmm. Mm Stealing is wrong, but seriously, fuck those guys. Basically. <laughs> they they animated Maison like reaching out to the to the teapot, but but Satan's still you manipulating the, the teacup with his mind, uh so at least do like a camera pan to take him off screen for a second. Uh huh. Right, so Bart has a cousin who's named Marguerite or Margie, who's a. Uh, Even bigger wheel. Well, she's like a. Um, or leader of the people or something like that. Um. And there's something called the Fatima Jasper, but it's not clear what that is. Mm -hmm. Right, and Bart and Margie each have half of whatever this thing is. There's a very good chance that the the great treasure they're talking about is a robot. So this is a JRPG. There's like a 50-50 shot. It's just friendship. Well, that that's also possible. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. He was just looking for any excuse to show off. Right. Uh, so maybe I'm just gonna keep wandering around. Um, you. Okay. you. Bart feels like a D&D character played by a 12-year-old. A little bit. He's like, okay, what's your backstory? I'm a prince and I'm a pirate. <laughs> Who wants to go look at my cool wall scrolls in my room? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, you also sell gear parts? Um, what, what do you have? Uh, oh, you, are you also the... Okay. I don't see any of that. Oh, you have a lot of weird stuff. Okay. These are expensive. Increases agility in desert. Okay. Um, <laughs> can use the tank guard to stop fuel leaks and drainage. Uh, I'm not buying any of these just yet. The the sea circuit does not guard against actual tanks. Maybe. Uh, you might want a few C circuits eventually. Let's buy like two of these. I think we can equip those at will. So um, you might have enough money to buy that the frame for yeah this. Uh, oh, yeah, that's what we have equipped already. Um, that's worse. Okay. Well, anyway. What do you have to say, a small child? Well, that was a really prompt payoff. Mm-hmm. Maybe everyone here is a pirate because they, because their parents told them that pirates are cool and good. Um, let's see. So I have to figure out where where Bart and Satan went. Uh, I mean, it's it's like being in like a West Virginia coal town. Everyone thinks coal is great because it's all many, all anyone know, all anyone knows. It's the only job. here instead of coal it's either digging robots out, digging robots <laughs> out of the desert or stealing from people who date robots out of, out of the desert uh let's see here okay yep we're gonna activate the holodeck Okay. Yes. Their legends speak of really cool robots. Mm-hmm.
And I left all the robots in one piece. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look. <laughs> I'm not a spy. Mason just told me. Yeah, fairly legitimate question. <laughs> so if, if Bart's 12 years old, then, then Faye is like, well, Faye's about as old as he actually is in the game, which is like 19. Given like given like the um, the assumption that Bart is like a D and D character, like twelve year old, they feels like one written by a seventeen year old. Mm -hmm. When they're just want to have like this really dark, edgy backstory. Right. Two frame jump animation, yeah. Mm hmm. Whereas the time feels like he also has a dark energy backstory, but written by someone who is 25. Mm hmm. So I think those kids did that just so we couldn't ride the elevator back down. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. So that's something. Uh, let's see here. And honestly, I don't quite remember what triggers the next event flag, but I think it's this. <laughs> Faye is a genius of, of uh, stealth here. So, now the game is, is just kind of moving towards outright slapstick. Uh, Alright, oh panel, oh. Big arrow buttons. Sure. I do have the speed up button on the emulator, so if we ever get tired of elevator animations, we can just kind of zip through it. So, uh... Did, did Bart... Is Bart somewhere around here? He's under the elevator. Terrible plan. Because, you know, that means it's kind of under things. Yeah. I don't think I can go down there. If this Aww. is in fact the elevator he's, he's under. Uh, can I poke this thing? Hmm. Only 20% supply status, huh? That's probably not great. Yeah. Fortunately, we are pirates, so well, here's a different elevator. What 
you have to say. We're going to the next hangar. Okay. Oh, I guess we we are off the su off the submarine, so we must have taken the gears off of there for some reason. Because that this is like a different gear hanger. It looks, looks a lot like the other gear hanger, but is different. For when, it's for when they get too many gears to keep in their gear hanger on extra cell. Right. Although I think this hanger only has the one gear in it right now. Once again, it's aspirational. They they keep expecting to get more. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will admit we're kind of in sort of a wandering around mode, but uh, it's, yeah, this is actually a lot smaller than the hangar inside the Incrusil. But that's fine. It's accessible. Let's see. And zoop. Okay. Still trying to find Bart here. Oop. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh. Oh, I was expecting him to just like sincerely apologize. <laughs> What are you, uh, uh, what the hell are you saying? I'll fight you over this. Wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's like, well, I've got a good reason to fight. Well, I don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a, a reasonable line of argument here. Your crazy paws, uh, having a visual problem with Bart's, Bart's costume design. Yeah, Bart is very kid focused. <laughs> mm hmm. But, okay. So now I should do that thing that I tried to do already, which is go talk to the guy about the gear. Now we'll do it again. Tie your two comments there together, you crazy paw. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Well, anyway. You. 
Okay. Yes. Yeah, we, we heard about the black boxes. They could look into a regular gear and not know what anything does. Mm-hmm. What? Let's see. Yes. sees the similarities, but isn't noticing the key differences. Like, Art's fear is that he's not powerful enough to save other people. Whereas Faye's fear is more that he's so strong he can't help but hurt other people. Right. I think it's kind of a empathy problem or something where uh, Faye and Satan have not adequately explained to Bart, like, uh, what actually happened in Wuhan and how that's affected Faye's attitude. Anyway, but... Mm-hmm. I guess you know, I accidentally had destroyed the town, yeah, but I also did it while I was in a terrible feud and killed, like, the only people I care about. Right, mm. it, it kind of makes you question your ability to control yourself if, if things like that happen. Mm-hmm. All right. And I'm pretty sure the game won't let me, like, get down there and talk to Bart, which... We, we wouldn't I think that's the way back up. Yeah, we wouldn't do that now anyway. Anyway, but... Anyway, uh, this is... We'll probably save and then rest and see what happens next. Uh, let's see, Mr. Dorn. Saved, it's fine. Yeah. Is it still the same day that he was like tromping around in the caverns? Um well it was like nighttime when they were in the desert. At least some of that time. Uh, it's not clear how many days passed when they're in the desert. Meanwhile, this is happening. 
we get ah <laughs> this guy <laughs> oh good More oh, okay that gives us details on who they are and how much we should care about them being alive uh-huh Mm-hmm. Sure, a lot of guys. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Condon, the Dragon Ball Z movie psychic villains, is actually pretty apt, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Seems like they're remotely piloting a gear, maybe? Mm-hmm. So we do have other gears. Right. Oh no. Oop. Didn't take us too long to get the klaxon noise. Eh. I mean, Force is also pretty good crab mates. Mm hmm. I think our gear is still down here. So, so Faye can spend a lot of time... Uh, ...worrying about whether we should help other people fight or not, but the world tends to force his hand a little bit. Yeah, Faye, you're definitely a non-combatant. Non well, I realized that we changed the name of the gear. Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. We have Bart and some random guys. Bart and the Bartettes. Mm-hmm. Hey, cool, they have a roundhouse kick. Sword Knight, not using a sword, but okay. Up oh, there, that was something. 
The shoulders can put a lot of ivy's whip blades. Yeah. Like a lot, they even kind of hend in a sword bit. Right. Okay, part leveled up. Ah, oh, we well learned whatever that is. They're basically people, therefore a doctor can fix it instantaneously. Mm -hmm. Normal doctor stuff. Alright, so now it's a tangent got a year. Everything about Broyer is discomforting. Mm-hmm. Hey, he's just a big like, guy. Why would that ever be your posture if you were in a mech? Oh, yeah, well. Uh, let's see. Oh, we just have a heal spell, so... I'm gonna punch you. That was not very friendly. Light attacks don't do very much damage, then you don't have to use the big attack. That's it. <laughs> there's some weird. They've suddenly decided in this scene that they're gonna have what they're gonna have like character vocal taunts. He just poochy out, that is essentially what happened, yeah. These characters are not gonna die, and so they just kind of... Uh, retreat. Sometimes you just go, I, I'm not gonna win this, peace out. Uh-huh. Also, they're using Drive, whatever that is. Uh, oh, they, the Satan just says. Thinking about the soccer enhancing drugs from Chef and Soccer. Uh. Yes, a wand, by which we mean a big rifle. One-handed rifle. Mm -hmm. yeah. it. Are you on it? Yeah. Okay. Not very impressive.
By the way, these are the bad guys. Uh, hey, not even a robot? No. <laughs> hey, in a robot. <laughs> yeah. It looked really weird there for a second. It is a pretty weird design. I thought it was just like a round, like, it started focused on the shield, and I thought it was just like a circle with legs at first. Right. Not quite a circle with legs. Alright, one, one dragon punch and we're done. Ah, oh, extra AR plus two. Mm-hmm. Well, now that the band's back together, we can... <laughs> the weird wiggler? Yes. It, it's... Executioner Smo, or something. I don't know. Well, ah, oh, it's... A very Ariel. weird spelling of Scaparelli, I think. Uh, or maybe just a, maybe not very weird, maybe just German. Let's try to make it. Oh yeah, okay. high speed disc attack. Well, first let's make it so they can't hit us very well. This might be unnecessary, but. Oh no. It, it did nothing. Okay. Sure, let's try the high speed disc attack. Oh. This isn't what I'm looking for, but uh, this, this is certainly also nice. What, what's going on? I uh, found a list of like the names that got like tr that had translation errors in English. Oh, okay. Yes, as an example, the ethos is just the church. Well, yes, kind of. They... I mean. Right now, all we know is that they have religious icono iconography and dig up robots. No, no, no. I mean, literally, the Japanese word and the Japanese word that they was used for them is just the church. Okay, that's <laughs> kind of unusual. This guy sure is not hitting us very efficiently. Someday we'll fight a boss that's not just a big meat wall, but. That's not today. At least it looks funny. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to fight to figure out what the hell this thing is. Well, we know it can transform into a drill or something. Uh, other than that. Oh. 
Okay, it blew up. Gryphon is a grinder. Alright, uh... Oh, I learned Iron Valor. Okay. We got a bean coat. And a bunch of money. So that's good. Well, we won, I guess. <laughs> Bart can't quite say thank you clearly, but, but he did it. Faye saved the children. Also, there's a whistling whistle rail here. Don't worry about it. That is true. Uh, our coverage kind of blown here, so mm -hmm. all right. This is. Probably this also might be a good point to break, yeah. Yeah, mainly I just want to find a safe point. But, uh, which we can either go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. I assume that once we get on the Ingrisil that we might... Uh, it might activate the next... Start scooting. Stuff. Yes, we found our way out of the cave and then... Got a lot of talking and discovered a, a gang of punks that each have their own special gear but aren't actually that tough. But also can't be killed. Except two also two of them have the same one. Right. Okay. All right. Uh. Okay. So that's all for Zeno Gears. Next time we will, I assume, pretty much next time will be the the rescue mission for to rescue Marguerite from whoever it is that is holding her captive. But we'll learn more about that later. But, yeah, it'll be fun. This is clearly a great team if you want to infiltrate a place. Mm hmm. Alright, but that'll be all. Thanks for joining Master Zaw. Thank you, Burnhead, and thanks to everyone who came by and had a good time. Yep. We'll see you next time. <laughs>